Hey guys, it's Abby with Motor City Nerds, and hi to all the new subscribers, welcome. And hi to everybody returning, I really appreciate that. But if you could hit the like, or hit the dislike, or leave a comment, even if it's just an emoji, I would really appreciate it, because it really helps me in the algorithm. Uh, or copy the link, and don't post it anywhere, that helps me too. But I liked the Dead City finale. Here's the problem, I didn't realize it was the finale until like halfway through. I thought it had eight episodes. I didn't know it had six. I thought they dropped that season two was happening. Well, I get it. It was Comic-Con and you guys wanted to put everything together with the Daryl stuff and the Rick stuff. I still haven't watched the Rick trailer or teaser or whatever it is. Is this like the greatest piece of television of all time? No. Is it fun and am I enjoying it? Yeah. Do I think that the people in The Walking Dead did a good job revamping a story? Yeah, I do. I definitely stand by that. Spoilers, spoilers, spoilers. Here we go, guys. I'll give you a second to go away if you don't want spoilers. Okay, here we go. Uh, I told you that Herschel was a little snitch, that little narc. I told you guys that he wasn't going to be okay when he came back, but I get it. He's brainwashed and traumatized and is losing it. But I was saying that in all my reviews. I was like, no, he's going to flip. Like, he's going to flip. He's going to have some angst toward Maggie for, for not for not being there or whatever, it, however he feels. And either Croat or this woman above him is going to take him under their wing. There were things about this I really did not expect that I really liked. I didn't think that we'd get a full trade of Negan for Herschel. I liked them not just immediately having Croat wanting to off Negan, but instead he's like truly trying to impress him and make him proud. And I really love that back and forth. And Negan, you can tell his eyes. Jeffrey Dean Morgan does such a good job as playing this character. He really does. He's very good at it. And I think he should be acknowledged for it, honestly. I, I do. I don't know about winning anything, but definitely acknowledged and nominated at least. <clears throat> Maybe not for this one. I don't think he is, but for maybe down the road because he's so good as this character because there's something in his eyes that just changes when croat starts bringing up uh the river the riverside people remember they they were in the walking dead part the people by the water and they said or the water whatever they were called and oceanside and they said that they were like no they show, showed up and they they killed all the men and that was the first thing they did and then it was just us and yada 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 and so hearing somebody else talk about that from the opposite side was pretty disturbing but saying it was such reverence to Negan and then saying like, no, I understand. I, I, I was, I went against your rules and I shouldn't have done that. And the only way to have things in order is complete submission of people underneath you. But then you see him kind of bothered that he's getting the cold shoulder now. But I think Negan knows that is a weakness he can exploit later. Either way, there's something in his eyes that shifts when they're having that conversation where it's like, you don't want that Negan back, but if you want him he's still here type deal like and it's going to be against you this time now let's wrap this up real quick I, I i was saying that the marshal was going to end up on their team uh, somehow i didn't think he was going to go home i thought he was going to come back to new york but he went home he dropped off um the girl i can't remember her name right now he drops the negan's girl off and oh my gosh negan telling her now do we really think that he killed her dad or do we think Negan was lying, kind of like an airbud when he's like, go away, leave. And, and that was kind of what was happening, because that's, that's the vibe I kind of got was that he might have been lying. But he might have been telling the truth also. But the way Maggie looked at him after was like, I respect what you did there, because you did what you had to to get her to go and keep her safe. But the marshal drops her off. He goes back home, and immediately it's bad vibe central. And the people he's, in, he's with and he's working for in New Babylon, uh, they are. this woman is straight up threatening his family and he knows that he's like why are you bringing up my kids like why are you bringing this stuff up and then she's talking and talking and talking about like temperature and all this stuff and then she brings up the methane and she wants to know and then meanwhile in new york we have the trade for negan so maggie and herschel are back together we don't know that herschel has flip sides yet they're in the car he has a little throwy fit but it's like he's a teenager so that also factors in here for his character being a moron and getting brainwashed but i get that but we have like angsty teen moment and then they go home negan is still in new york and when they did the trade, I thought it was kind of sinister when Negan said, it's good to see you, kid. And I'm like, geez, man, I wouldn't want you to say nothing to me, I don't think. And even Herschel's explanation of like, you've been so obsessed with Negan my whole life. And even Maggie's uh, response to that of saying, I, when Herschel said, oh, you look past me. And then later on, she's like, I've had so much taken from me over and over and over again that I just fought and fought and fought. And now I'm realizing that's not the way to go. And that's when she's making, I think she's conflicted at that moment to go back for Negan but then fully commits after later on in the episode. And we'll get to that. I didn't think they were going to let Maggie out of there, honestly, after the trade. I really, I didn't know if that would happen. But immediately, Negan is being treated not the way I thought it was going to go. I thought it was going to be kind of generic. And I'm sorry, Walking Dead, but you kind of shown me that that's what you might do. And I liked that little twist to it. I did. But Croat immediately takes Negan to the stage place wherever it is the theater i couldn't think of a word they go to the theater and prior to that i loved hearing croats say watching you perform like a rock star 
but every rock star needs their microphone and you pulled out Lucille and then he starts talking about how it's almost like a performance that you have to have as a leader and that's true in Game of Thrones and I always use Game of Thrones as references I'm sorry for that you can go check out my Game of Thrones stuff if you want I would really appreciate that but Robert Baratheon not only did he have royal blood but because his grandmother's a Targaryen so not only did Robert have Targaryen blood in his veins which gave him an excuse to put him on the throne but he also was such a great commander on the field and he had the look and he had the vibe and he yelled so loud in his booming voice and there was just that charisma about him that also added to him being a good leader. And But does Robert Baratheon have the greatest qualities? Don't talk bad about Robert Baratheon, that's my favesies. But no, he does have problems. He does have issues. He isn't the greatest ruler of all time, but he knows that about himself. Negan knows what his flaws are. He knows what he can be tempted with and what he might do change for but I think that this Negan's pretty locked in his ways but he'll still get crazy I think that Negan was thinking hey I might be able to take all of you out and take this whole place over I, I truly think that because then it would make sense having possibly this show and Rick's show I don't know I haven't watched that teaser yet I don't know if there's anything in there and or Daryl all being on different sides if a if or when a war breaks out because now we know that New Babylon wants this methane or how to change it into power. We have Negan and this woman talking, and she's going on and on about when you have something that people want, and she's not wrong, people are going to come for it. And they do have the best defenses naturally with that water, unless they run out of zombies. But it's like, unless I, unless you have something and the equivalent to trade with somebody like that who has something so significant like energy, you're kind of screwed. Unless you have another resource that's just as good. And in this world, in this apocalypse world, there's nothing really on that level. So it's like... What do we offer these people? So it's, it's either that or fight. And she's not wrong when she's talking about that. But I'm thinking this will give you guys an excuse to have all these different places that are being named now. New Babylon, wherever the garbage people in the helicopter went. Uh, I don't know, Fear the Walking Dead, I'm sorry. But whatever they call themselves. And now the people in New York could all be squaring off against each other. But you could have all these different people that we already know from The Walking Dead on all these different sides, which could be crazy and cool. I definitely think that Negan had a thought of like, how about I just <laughs> usurp all of you? That wasn't stated, so I could be wrong. I just kind of got that vibe. And I wasn't wrong about Herschel, so I'm just saying. Yeah, the way Croat talked about it being a performance and all this stuff, and I was like, oh, this is why we're in the theater. Okay, I get it. And then this and that. Okay, I, I get it. I like it. I, I, a little on the nose, but I'm, I like it. It's more than I thought The Walking Dead could give us anymore, if that's a good way to put it. Better not be acting like no farmer when he shows up. I need throat biting Rick. Marshall realizes he's in hot water. Negan is chit-chatting it up with this woman and who really runs stuff. Croat is getting the cold shoulder and is bothered by that, but I'm assuming Negan's going to use that to his advantage. And then Herschel, Negan's girl, and why can't I remember her name right now? And Maggie are all back at Hilltop's little hiding spot. I like Maggie putting the dinosaur by her like, I'm trying, and I know I jacked up here and made the wrong choice of going about this. But I also think that might be telling us that might become her kid and Herschel might have to bite it. She might have to make a, she's going to, I think she's going to have to make a good son choice. If you've never seen the movie The Good Son of Macaulay Culkin and Elijah Wood, it's creepy, but I really like that movie. And yeah, I think it's going to be like that. Or, and she's going to have to choose, like, which one of you do I save hanging off a cliff? Well, you've proven that you're a little psych, a psychopath and you've been good. And then that's who, the good one is who she, the good son is who she saves. So I think that she might have to choose between these two kids and she might not choose Herschel. She might choose the daughter and raise her. I don't know. I'm just I'm just guessing right now, but I, I, I kind of thought that too, where I was like, oh man, what if she has to choose between them and that becomes her pseudo kid? But then we, at the same time, we have Negan opening this box that that woman gave him and was and she's going off on her monologue about how to keep people in line and how to do this and how to do that. And as he opens it, I thought they could have tilted it a bit more because it was a toe, right? It was Herschel's toe. He cut off his toe for her, or they did it to him, one or the other. I kind of, I don't know what I, but I couldn't tell it was a toe at first. I was like, what is that? And I had to rewind. I was like, what, what? It cut to his foot. I was like, oh, it's his toe. But he's outside being all toeless with no socks or shoes, which kind of obvious out here, but I guess you could just say they did it to me and Croat's crazy. So I guess it doesn't matter, but he's outside. But I think it was almost like he wanted to be reminded of her, of that woman and reminded of New York and stuff. So he, that's why he has it out the way he does. And then he's playing guitar outside and it's nighttime and he's chilling. 
and then Maggie is making his bed and she finds a bunch of his little drawings and it's like ah oh, you little artist here we go and at first it's like some warped stuff of New York but it kind of looks like a castle and I'm like weird and then it's his cell and it's like okay well that's a little traumatic but we'll do what you got to do to cope and then we get the picture of that woman that he drew and we realize like oh no you are in deep with these people and you actually want to go back and then she's telling Negan oh I have a piece of him and we got really close my last guest and me got super close and I needed him to trust me first that's why I think he might have cut it off on his own volition uh, that, w that would be really disturbing and she's, she's going on and on about how we have a piece of him, and if we want to go and take more, we can. But I don't think we're going to have to do that, because we essentially have a full-blown spy over there at a high rank, which is Maggie's son. And that's a scary thought. I just want to know, do you guys think that Maggie is going to say something to Herschel, or just leave, and tell somebody else to like make sure he don't go nowhere? I don't know. Either way, that little Herschel is a sneaky snake rat that I was saying. I'm upset we didn't use the zip lines more. That was a really cool concept, and I hope they get utilized. Definitely took some turns I didn't think it was going to. I think that Negan is already plotting to overthrow everybody, but I don't think he wants that position anymore, but he might. I don't know. A lot of this is about his redemption and Maggie's feelings towards him and how she needs to let go of all that hate and anger. So I'm interested to see that. Now, this is what I mean, once again, about Walking Dead being a little bit on the nose, but I don't hate it. I really don't. I think they do it well, but it's the when we come up to the shot and it's Maggie and Negan's faces put together. I thought it was cool. I liked it, but also, like I said kind of on the nose we're opposing sides but not some people are saying they're against each other again i didn't take it that way i took it as maggie was like i screwed up i screwed up here and i'm gonna need to go get him out now so i'm gonna need him to take out all these people or at least take them on oh she's gonna have to question herschel she's gonna figure out something but i thought she was feeling remorse about leaving negan behind and going like i don't think i realized what i was dealing with here with these people but I really did. I loved Maggie and Herschel's back and forth in his room. I loved, and if you really do think about it, Maggie has lost her dad, her sister, her husband. Maggie's lost a lot. And uh, so I really liked their back and forth. And I liked the fake out earlier in the episode where it's like, I kept going, oh, little rat, little rat, little rat. And then it was angsty teenage stuff. So, okay. And then the reason I think that Maggie is truly like, I feel remorseful about Negan is because she looks up at the Statue of Liberty after giving him that hat from Macy's. So she got her thing from New York, but Negan never got his. And I think it bothered her that she was like, I don't know if what I did was the right thing. I don't know if going about it this way was right. If Negan doesn't pick up a baseball bat or something equivalent to in like the first two episodes of the next season, I'm going to be upset. I need him to have a baseball bat back again. And I'm sure Croat is going to provide him with one. Or, and, and maybe I think that's going to be the temptation Negan has is... All right, I got a baseball bat back in my hands. I got, I got people listening to me again. And when I'm tempted with that amount of power, I tend to lean towards it. And so I could see that being a struggle for Negan if he fully commits. But I'm, I am. I'm interested to see where this goes. I'm sad that it's not eight episodes. I didn't know it was six. But yeah, tell me your favorite part about this down below. I'm happy with Motor City Nerds. I, I liked Dead City. And you're talking to somebody who got sick of The Walking Dead in the middle of it and skipped two seasons and then came back to it then i stopped watching again after i can't remember i just got busy that time though it's not that i didn't like it and mom kept watching and then i went back again and watched it and finally finished it so i wasn't watching it i can't say i watched it all the way through i watched the majority of it every sunday when it was on but not all of it i can't say i did so i like it but i'm not like this isn't my game of thrones or something or house of the dragon or something like that for me you, you feel me so what i'm trying to say is i really like this but i'm not like I'll live or die for The Walking Dead. And I know some people are. So I'm like, no, I really like this. And I thought it felt fresh. I thought it felt good. I hope they don't go for a million seasons with all these spinoffs. I hope we know where we're going with it. I'm not saying they have to be two or one season. I'm just saying, like, I hope they're not 20 million and it's cohesive and good. I'll take a shorter show if it's better than a longer show that's subpar. Because The Walking Dead had highs and lows. It had really great things. And then uh, it's literally The Walking Around Dead. And then it's really highs and really lows. I personally, that's how I felt. But if they can stick with this pacing and this energy, I'm, I'm all about it. But do you think Maggie feels bad? Do you think she wants to go back for him? Did you think Herschel was a little snake rat? Uh, just tell me how you felt down below. I just wanted to let people know like this isn't my, so I'm sorry I'm not like, oh my God. And so they're a little bit shorter, but I still am, am very happy that this has re-energized the franchise, I feel like. On OF, I'm on TikTok, I'm on all the stuff down below in the description, and I got a bunch of stuff up on the channel, check it out. We'll talk about Barbie, because I, I, I'm disturbed with the way some of these people are discussing this, and I don't like it, and I don't think it's very nice.